Good afternoon. Wow, have I got a job today. Today's job is we have a leaky toilet. Now, we don't use this toilet. We haven't used this toilet since buying the house, but we were up here the other day and realized that it's leaking. And Rich, with his font of knowledge, thinks it's from the system. But today I'm going to basically seal it off because the whole plan is we won't use the toilet and we're going to move it into the front of the house. So, never having done this before, I shall, with the aid of Rich, get on and do it. Now, <laughs> we're going to install one of those. Oi, oi, you. Sorry. His hands don't work, so he's supposed to be the cameraman because we have noticed we both have a habit of chopping our heads off when we film. We don't particularly think you need to see our heads because they're not the prettiest. However, it does look slightly weird, headless people fixing things. So his job today is to help when needed and to keep my head on camera if you need it. But I, wow, so, so handsome today. Um, so the first thing is, I even I know is we have to turn the water off. So please follow me, but be careful, the stairs. Don't do the heavy breathing, Rich. I think Sorry. it's a horror movie. I have my snow boots on today to help with the cold. Okay, careful. Right, oh my God, it'd be like a fairground ride for everybody. Right, Richard's been some hours here yesterday cleaning, so. Yeah, much tidier now. It is, because it was very depressing coming in here. Right, so, I believe, well, this must be it. Am I right? Yep, that is it. Right, now which way do I need to go? You need you need to turn it clockwise. It's not on there. Yes, it is on there. It will not budge at all. Well, that's because you're not on it yet. That is the one for the Oh, well, there machine. we go. That's what I just said. The one down there. Right, okay. All right. right. I think that I may have closed it anyway, but it's murder tight, so I've put some oil on it. So. Try and turn it anti-clockwise. Okay. Yeah, that'll go okay. anti-clockwise. Right, turn it a little bit more anti-clockwise. Okay. Yeah. And then turn it clockwise as hard as you can. Okay. Right, if you hold it there a second, it's a little bit... I will, I will come up and put the focus on you. And I will just go. Okay. <laughs> he had one job, he messed it up, but we'll forgive him. Right, so I'm going to use uh, emery board. Got that right. Um, I've used 100, and we need a bit, something a bit more. We're on a P120, which is... 120 is actually finer than 100. It feels coarser to me. But it's it's a longer piece, so you should be able... Okay. Yeah, you'll have, you'll have a, a longer... Yeah, I'm, all, right. I'm like through a bit anyway, so. And what, what are you doing there currently? I'm getting the paint off till we're back to the copper. And once we're back to the copper, then I'll cut it. Yep. And Sounds then it's things terror has made off then. But he assures me I should be fine. This is important because the, the paint puts extra thickness on the pipe. 
and you've got a little copper ring that goes over the pipe for the fitting. And with the extra paint on there, the copper ring might not go over. And if it does go over, you can't guarantee to get a good seal. How's that then? I think that's that's good. That's okay. Really good, actually. Alrighty. First bit of the job. Gosh, she's Six. working with sweat. In this house, that's a miracle. Right, okay. So next thing I have to do is to cut it. Yep. Okay. This now, we don't have a hacksaw. Why don't we have a hacksaw? Well, we do. I was going to say, I But it's too big. Right. And, and the small one here, the small one's called a junior hacksaw. We don't have that with us. So we are going to use... We? You are yes. going to use... The angle grinder with the metal cutting blade. But first you're going to put your goggles on. Obviously. And also, while we're here in our delightful bathroom, any suggestions why the throne is on a throne? A pedestal. A pedestal. A pedestal on a pedestal. Yes. Why? Any suggestions? I know the answer, but I'm going to keep the answer correct. Oh, for that's so mean. Right, come on, get on with the work. Oh, it's nearly right. tea time. Oh, oh, luckily, I have everything organised. Right, okay. I have never used one of these before. Yes, you have. Have I? Yeah. Why did I use that before? But not, not the cutting disc. Okay. You used it on the stone. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm, I'm assuming I go in and straight across that way. What is that right? What you do is you, you go in and just cut as you, exactly as you say. Yeah, across. Yeah. Don't don't push it. Don't you know, start. Get the thing started before you touch the metal. Yeah. Just go through in one cut. Don't worry. You should get some some water coming out. Yeah. Okay. Are you all the way through? Yes. Good stuff. So you want another cut a bit higher up? Yeah, make another cut about a centimetre or so just above that one. Okay. Great stuff. Okay. Now what you do is you use the emery cloth again. Right. Because around the top of the pipe there you've got some burrs, copper burrs. You get you get the fitting. Yeah. And it's called an isolating ball valve. Yeah. The arrow has to go to the towards the top. Yeah, the way that the water's flowing. Yeah. So I unscrew that nut from the bottom okay. and be careful because there's a copper olive that sits in there. Any idea why it's called an olive? I uh, know. Okay. Right. But first of all put the nut on. Yeah. Right. Okay, slide it down a bit more if you can. Great stuff. Put the olive on. Yeah. And now uh, take the, the nut and the olive off of the top one. And no, uh, um, yeah, sorry. I, teamwork is dream work. It doesn't come on, you might still have a copper bar on there. Oops. Okay. Do you not need to put the olive on? Oh, it's the wrong way, that's why. Is it going on or? Do you want me to have a go? No, it was. Wait a minute. We've got... What? Yeah, okay, carry on. Now 
So don't yeah, arrow up. Yeah. Which way is it? Is there any better way that's better to do it or? I suspect that the top might. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah. It needs to go a bit saddle down there. What's the saddle? I don't know what it is. Oh. Just very carefully okay. cut across the little metal bit. Okay. So this way, just across here? Yeah. Yeah. Undoing the top one. Okay. okay. Right, so just tie them loosely. Now, with the 18 millimeter spanner. Right. We also call them wrenches. Okay. No, on the body of the valve itself. Ah, uh, okay. Turn it around. No, 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 no. It's if you. You know, like that. Okay. Turn it around so that the thing is. No, that's fine. It's, that's oh. fine where it is. And okay. It, and it will only go on that way anyway. Okay, okay. So hold the body in place with that one. Okay. With that one. Right. Yeah. And then turn the bottom one the other, the other way. It's this, no. So towards? Towards the front of the house. Not with that. Yeah. I oh, know, but that's gone off. Okay. I've got to keep that forward, don't I? Yeah, because if it's forward, it's much easier to to turn off and on if you have to. In this case, it doesn't really matter so much because... Is that all right or does it? I would say that you should tighten it up a little bit more. Okay. So it, it does, if you hold the, the yellow crest, the yellow wrench right at the end, then you get more leverage. Yeah. So okay. I, I would say that's good there. Okay. So now you put the... Put the 18 mil back on the body again and tighten up the top one. Okay. You might be Which best. Way? You might be best to go with the 18. Yeah, underneath. Underneath, yeah. Right. Now that top one, you now need to turn it um, towards the, the back okay. of the house. Doing that, I think just a little bit more on that. I'll get a screwdriver for you to okay. turn the valve off. Ooh. Well, there are better jobs, however, probably many that aren't as important as that one. And 
you know, the house has already got enough damage without us neglecting a job and causing more. So that would be a good job done and something less for us to worry about, that's for sure. Right, good to go. Yep. All right, so what's happening now? Now you need to, the little screw, screw head that's in the valve. Yeah. Which way is it pointing currently? Um, almost down, um, vertically. Right, so if it's vertical, that means that the water would be flowing through it. So if you turn it around at 90 degrees, Horizontal? Yep. Right. Then that's the valve closed. Okay. So if you want to go in and get a close up of the valve, I'll go downstairs and turn the water back on. Okay. And you can right in there. Yeah. That won't zoom in any progress. Okay. So the entertain the audience. Ouch. Well, I trapped my fingers in there, so that's very entertaining. So here's what I've done. And you can see I've screwed that so it's horizontal instead of the vertical. Um, I can hear water. So I assume we've turned it back on. And fingers and toes crossed everybody because... Okay. All looks good. I can, I can hear his dainty little feet popping up the stairs, like a little gazelle, a baby gazelle. All right. Oh, right. Rolly. Right. That's my first plumbing job. Yeah. So if we had to pay for that, by the time we paid for a call out and the parts. I suppose it would have been hundred and fifty pounds or so. Wow, I feel like I could go out and plus buy plus, another pot plant. Plus the waiting time. Oh, yeah. And hey, this is after hours. Is, I need extra, sir. But then, if you were on site yesterday when you should have been, no, Sunday we'll, we'll was talk a about day of rest. Day. But no, seriously, it cost the valve. I think cost two pounds. The tools. Excuse me, pay attention. Oh, I'm, I but, was just tidying yeah, up. Yeah, all right. So the sandpaper or the, the emery plus emery bolts, darling. The, the screwdriver and the spanner and all of the tools will probably cost you £10, £15 if you wanted to buy some decent ones and you got the job done. And if you used a little hacksaw, you wouldn't need the, the safety goggles. So you'd save money there as well. <laughs> Mind you, you need to get your hair done first. Oh, right. obviously, right. obviously. Enough of this. Yes, so there we go. Hopefully. And the reality is I have never done anything like this before in my life. And it actually was really simple. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. So be brave. Onwards and upwards. <laughs>